What's up y'all welcome back to a new video so today we're gonna go fishing in Susun City once again But yeah, we about to head out there right now just got back from work set everything up fix my kayak up And yeah, we about to head out over there right now and wish us luck I'm about to show y'all the bait we're gonna be using today so I won't have to show it or Y'all be wondering what bait I be using before I even go out there. So let me show y'all real quick All right, y'all so I'm gonna be using a Dakota 601 HG with 50 pound braid got my drag a little bit loose but today's lure is gonna be a rapala lure it's a saltwater rapala lure it's the one that goes 15 feet deep diver but yeah we about to use this one today y'all can see it brighter we're using bright colors the reason for that is because in the slough brighter colors work way better because the water is muddy so like the fish get to see it more and recently my dad caught a fish yesterday and it had crawfish so i guess this red and orange try to imitate it with a little glow like if there's seaweed on the crawfish or something but yeah about to head out there and hopefully we can catch something with this lure let's see y'all on the water all right what's up y'all we're on the water now and we got the lure we got the lure right here but yeah well, now we about to just cast it behind us and we're gonna enter we're in the slough already and we're gonna just troll and see what happens. This lure, this time we gotta cast it way far back behind us. It's about a good 20 feet behind us. We have it set that behind us just because this lure goes deep. It's a deep diving minnow. So yeah, we're just gonna have it right behind us. We're gonna just start trolling for right now. Let's see if we can hook up on anything. And if we do, then I'm gonna show y'all what we get currently five no six thirteen we got out here kind of late because i just got out of work it's one of the main reasons but yeah we gotta just show now i want to go to the area where i caught the last striper just because it's probably a good spot right now for that Put the rod on this side. But yeah, let's see if we can catch anything. All right, y'all, we hooked up on our first fish. Oh, did he get it off? No, he's still on. Let me tighten our drag real quick. Oh, first fish. Oh, is he, is he big? Let me see. Oh, he is big. Oh, y'all, he's huge. I know y'all saw that, bro. This dude is huge. Look at that, y'all. What? Oh, my. Bro, don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This dude is huge, y'all. All right, y'all. I don't know how you stopped the recording, but. This dude is huge, y'all. And it was a quick, quick fight. Now the rope battle begins trying to take the hook out of him. Yeah, hook, all right, the head hook is fine. Just the hook in the mouth is gonna be the hardest to take out. Oh my God, y'all. That's crazy. I don't know how big he is. I'm gonna measure him when I get home. Cause we obviously gonna take him. Ah. Ah, how do I, I can't even take the hook out of him. Damn. All right, the hook is hard to take out because the net got hooked too. Oh my God, please don't shake no more. All right, I got one hook out, and I got the second hook out, y'all. Oh, never mind. The second hook's right in his head. All right, y'all. We're going to have to throw this dude between our legs. 
but I know y'all see this. Oh my God, let me show y'all. I'm trying to get the lure too. I had a feeling he was gonna be in here because a lot of bait fish comes out of this little spot. So I was like, he might be in here. But hey, let me try to get this hook out. Oh, I'm sweating so much. But hey, the Rapala lure hit today. Oh my God, y'all. So slimy. Look at this, y'all. And I hooked like I got it hooked again. What impressive things I can do. Alright y'all. Oh my god. These hooks is annoying. That's how you know they're good. Alright y'all. On the Rapala lure. Oh yeah. I know y'all see that. y'all up close oh yeah it's pretty big oh, I'm surprised all right y'all we're gonna keep on trolling let's see if we can catch any more for y'all oh yeah all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and cast the lure back out just like that a little bit behind us put it in the water and yeah now we're just gonna continue to troll Hopefully we could get another one for y'all. Hopefully. Alright y'all, we ended up not getting nothing else that day, but now the video's not over yet. I'm gonna show y'all some clips from the other day that I went out and I didn't get up make a whole video out of it because I caught one fish. I didn't even know it was a keeper, but I cut out the pipes with a with a small with a small lure, with a white real realist lure. But yeah, I'm about to show y'all that clip. Hooked up on we got him the one that hit at first he hit again just gonna go ahead and flip him on here because we got no net oh my god it don't fall again but hey we got a small one yeah i don't know oh he might be he might just be barely 18. all right y'all little striper look at him we're gonna throw him back And he's out of there. Oops. Well, we're going to keep on going. Oh, we're just going to see if there's any more right here. There might be. Or if there's one, there's always more. I think they're just waiting at the pipe. Yep, they're probably just waiting at the pipe, waiting for fish to come out. Or that might have been the only one here. Uh, I don't know. Alright y'all, so that's it for today's video. But y'all always ask me what combo I got. Like when I be casting them lures out with my bait caster. So it's a 300 size Daiwa reel. It's a Lexa 300 SP. It's right here right here and then this is the rod uh lamif lamig glass x11 these are the specs eight plus six i don't know if y'all could see it i don't want to focus but i said it out loud so yeah that's my that's my raw combo so when i be casting lures out whatever it works pretty good with 30 pound braid line x x braid that's what it's called but yeah and then that's pretty much it but i'll show you all the one that i use for trolling in the morning my new one but yeah that's it for today's video i hope y'all like it and enjoy it and thank y'all for all the support all my videos getting more views more likes all that 
Thank y'all. And if y'all haven't followed my Instagram, some of the posts, I don't be catching full like videos of like, it's not worth making a whole video out of certain videos. So like if I get one fish, one fish, one fish, or I don't have the right equipment and I just pull out my phone cause I'm just fishing. Well yeah, y'all can see that on my Instagram at stayovic. If y'all want to contact me, it shows my email, everything there. So any sponsors want to reach out? Oh, nah, but yeah, y'all can email me, but, but yeah, thank y'all and I appreciate all y'all support. Peace out.